Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm out here in the shop again tonight. Got to touch up a few broadheads. Um, my buddy and I just finished doing some bolt building, some bolt tuning and shooting broadheads out of both my X1 as well as his brand new Fatal X. And we've got these KI Hyper Bolts dialed in really, really well out of both of those bows. So this is a video for you KI shooters, whether you shoot the X1, whether you shoot the Fatal X, or honestly, whether you shoot any of the KI crossbows, Kind of my go-to recipe that I talked about a couple weeks ago in a video, it works really well for these KI Hyper Bolts. I wanna take you guys through exactly what we did, um, kind of weigh some components, show you what we swapped out, what everything weighs, and then I took a couple pictures of just how everything was shooting. So for you KI shooters or for you guys interested, even if you're not a KI crossbow bow shooter, if you're interested in the Hyper Bolts, this is a video for you, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so here's the box for brand new KI Hyper Bolts. So you'll see right here, these bolts weigh 390 grains. That is with a 100 grain field tip, okay? So remember that, 390, that includes the 100 grain tip. So if we take the tip out, minus 100 grains, we take the insert out, so I got a whole pile of inserts here. These are all measuring a little bit different and they've all still got a little bit of glue on them and stuff, but they appear to be right in that 65 grain range if I weigh a bunch of them. They've been between 60 and 70. Some are as low as like 62. I have a couple that are 70 like that one right there, but I think 65 is the nominal based on what I've been weighing. So you pull the insert out it's minus 65 grains. And if you do that and you still shoot the stock knock, 390 minus the 100 grain point minus the 65 grain insert gives you a 225 grain shaft fletchings and knock. So if you just go with that setup, you shoot the same knock, add the 110 grain insert, add the 150 grain point, you're at 485 grains. Now, if you shoot a lighted knock like I do, and you pull the knock out, these knocks that come with the hyper bolts are right about 10 grains, or at least that's what I'm guessing these are gonna be. This is the only one I have out right now and it's just over or just under 10 grains. So if you do that to 225 minus that 10 grain knock gives you 215. The lighted knocks I shoot are about 25 grains. Um, that's what they're advertised as and that is what um, they're weighing in at. They're weighing it right at about 25 grains. So 215, plus the 110, plus the 150, and then plus 25 gives us 500 grains. And it really depends, you guys, on the tolerance for weight for all the components that you're using. So obviously, like this Magnus Stinger right here, the blade, the ferrule, the insert, the shaft, the fletchings, and that lighted knock, they can all weigh a little bit different. So if we put this complete setup on the scale right here, so this one is just over 500 grains, so like 509 grains. Got another one right here. I need to sharpen this one up too, so we'll just weigh this one quick. This one's at 504 grains, so a little bit different. But both of them shoot really, really well. All right, guys, before I show you some pictures on how these bolts shot, one question I get quite a bit is how do you get the inserts out? So there's kind of two methods, and I actually like to use a combo of both of them. That has worked the best, at least for me recently. First method is you take the knockout, so pop that right off, leave it out, and put a drill bit down in the shaft. So find something that is going to fit you know, in the shaft, but it's gonna have the ability to slide, like the heaviest one that you think slides nice. Um, once you have that in there, you're gonna hold the back of the arrow and do this in a safe place because when the insert comes out, the drill bit and the insert are kind of gonna fly out a little bit, but you can kind of just go like this and knock that drill bit against the insert and you'll see it start to work itself out and then eventually it'll pop out. And that has worked really well on these actual KI inserts because these things aren't very long. They don't have a ton of glue on them. If you're trying to knock something else out that's a little bit longer, the drill bit method can be a challenge. You can also apply heat. Um, if you're gonna do this, the best way to get it out applying heat is to put a field point in and apply heat with a candle and heat the field point. Don't actually heat your insert or your carbon because you'll damage your carbon, but apply heat to the field point, 
Once that gets hot, you can start either pulling on it with pliers um, and get it to come out and just keep incrementally adding just a little bit more heat, a little bit more heat till that glue finally loosens up and you're able to pull it out. Now, what I think has worked the best, and this is what we did, was the combo of the two. So we applied a little bit of heat, like 30 seconds of heat with a candle, and then put the drill bit in and it knocked out really easy. So either of those methods work. Just know with the heat method, if you do apply too much and you pull on it with pliers um, and it's gotten too hot, you'll see some little curly cues of carbon where you have then unfortunately wrecked the front end of your bolt. So you can either try to cut it down a little bit or that bolt is just trash. So I would try drill bit method first. If that doesn't work, try drill bit and heat. Those seem to be the safest ones to get your insert out. Um, as far as how these shot, so the pictures that I'm gonna show you guys, they're from my X1, but we basically had the exact same results with my buddy's Fatal X. So first things first, we paper tuned them. So after we put that insert in and that field point, we paper tuned them and we found the knock positions that shot the best on these bolts. Like you'll see with this one right here, this is one that I'm gonna hunt with. I'm actually not shooting the odd feather down anymore. I'm shooting this white feather that's got the arrow sharpied on it because that knock position shot the best through paper. And you're gonna shoot your field points through paper and basically try to get as close to a perfect bullet hole as you can. Just turn your knock, shoot the three different fletching positions, get it printing really well through a piece of paper before you move to broadheads. So we did that. This bolt right here is the one that I am showing you pictures of. It shot absolutely freaking perfect through paper with that fletching position right there. Stuck with that, put the field point on. We, uh, we checked it at 30 yards, checked it at 50 yards. This picture that I'm gonna show you, this is how it shot with a 150 grain field point at 50. I mean, you guys can see it's dead nuts. Then when I put the broadhead on, um, the first broadhead I shot was like, two inches high at 30 yards, and I didn't take a picture of that. But another tip that is gonna help you guys is if you have a pack of broadheads, mix and match them until you find a pair that works best together. I just did a video on this. That can really take your broadhead accuracy from an okay level to a really good level, especially with some of these bigger fixed blades like this Magnus Stinger right here. So when I shot broadhead number one with it, it was like two inches high at 30. Shot broadhead number three with it, it was one inch high at 30. And I'm fine with that because honestly, the triangle on my reticle was the size of the dot I was shooting. So one inch um, is probably some user error on my part and maybe not even the bolt. So one inch high at 30, I'm totally fine with. Once I got that pair, this number three broadhead here, this one is staying with this bolt. This is now my number three bolt. So that recipe, you guys, I'm telling you, it works really well. And there are heavier ones that you can do. If you wanna go heavier than 500 grains, there is a guy on the Killer Instinct Crossbook Facebook pages. His name is Tyree Appleberry. He's got a good recipe for stuff in that like 550 to 600 range. And this 500, at least just for me, with the bows that I'm shooting, it has just worked really well. The paper shows it, the field point accuracy shows it, the broadhead accuracy shows it. So I haven't tinkered too much outside of that. If you wanna go heavier, talk to Tyree. But all in all, you guys, these hyperbolts are really, they're good bolts. Uh, they shoot well out of these crossbows, whatever crossbow you have, you just have to play with them a little bit. And I really recommend that 150 and 110 as far as upfront weight, that combined with knock tuning is gonna do wonders for you. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Also hit that subscribe button for me and we'll see you next time for some more crossbow stuff. Have a great night. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.